Energy efficiency and alternative fuels are on the minds of many people these days. We're seeing more and more hybrid electric vehicles and an increasing number of gasoline stations that also offer E85, which is a mixture of 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline. In addition to these alternatives, the use of hydrogen and fuel cell technology is emerging in certain parts of the country through vehicle demonstration programs and the use of stationary fuel cells for on-site power generation. Hydrogen presents different challenges for firefighters and other first responders. Hydrogen and fuel cells may already be in use in your communities, or they may be coming sometime in the future. Most people know very little about hydrogen, and even less about its use as a fuel. This video explains some of hydrogen's unique properties. We'll demonstrate a prop that compares hydrogen and propane flames. It was designed and constructed by Kitta Fire Trainers for the U.S. Department of Energy. DOE's Hydrogen Safety Education Program is funding a range of different courses for first responders. The courses are being developed by DOE's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory and the Volpen Test Hazardous Materials Management and Emergency Response Training and Education Center. We call it HAMMER for short. This prop will show you the differences between the flame characteristics of hydrogen and propane. But before we get to that, let's set the context by going over some basic information about hydrogen and then compare it to fuels that are commonly used today. Like conventional fuels, hydrogen must be handled properly, but it can be used safely when simple guidelines are observed. That said, we must keep in mind that some of the characteristics of hydrogen are different from those of natural gas, propane, gasoline, and other fuels. The first thing we'll note is that hydrogen has no smell. Many people don't realize that fuels like propane and natural gas are also odorless in their natural state. But as a safety precaution, industry adds a special odorant so people can detect the presence of these fuels. Currently though, odorants are not used with hydrogen. This is partly because hydrogen is extremely light and disperses quickly in the air and there is no known odorant light enough to travel with hydrogen at the same dispersion rate. In addition, odorants could contaminate fuel cells, which are an important application for hydrogen. Let's move on to some other characteristics of hydrogen. It's colorless and tasteless. It's also non-toxic and non-poisonous, and it's non-corrosive, though it can embrittle some metals. This chart shows which fuels use odorants and which are toxic. Another interesting point of comparison among fuels is vapor density. This chart shows the vapor density of four fuels relative to air. So think of air as having a value of one. With values of 1.52 and four respectively, Propane and gasoline vapor are heavier than air, but natural gas has a value less than one, so it's lighter than air. And hydrogen is 14 times lighter than air. So hydrogen gas under ambient conditions will rise and rapidly disperse in an open environment. Another fuel characteristic of interest to members of the first responder community is auto ignition temperature. This is the lowest temperature at which a substance will spontaneously ignite in a normal atmosphere without an external source of ignition, such as a flame or spark. Hydrogen, propane, and natural gas have similar auto-ignition temperatures, and all three of them have auto-ignition temperatures that are at least twice as high as that of gasoline vapor. Under normal ambient conditions, hydrogen is flammable and its flammability range is very wide compared to other fuels. This chart shows flammability as a function of the gas to air ratio. For the hydrogen example in this chart, this would be the ratio of hydrogen to air. You can see that hydrogen will ignite when the hydrogen to air ratio ranges from four to 75%. That's a wide range. Natural gas, propane, and gasoline vapor are flammable within a much smaller range and at generally lower gas-to-air ratios. 
The optimal combustion condition for hydrogen is a 29% hydrogen to air volume ratio. Under this condition, hydrogen can be ignited with minimal energy, such as a small spark. As this chart shows, other gases require a much higher amount of energy to ignite at their optimal combustion conditions. But at low concentrations of hydrogen in air, the energy required to initiate combustion is similar to that of other fuels. Now that we've discussed the conditions that can lead to a hydrogen flame, let's get back to our prop and talk about the characteristics of that flame. This prop provides a side-by-side -side demonstration of the flame characteristics of hydrogen and propane. It consists of two burners fed by two cylinders. One cylinder contains gaseous hydrogen, and the other contains liquid propane. The gas pressures and flows have been adjusted to make the flame similar in size. Here we have the propane and hydrogen flames burning on a bright sunny day. The orange propane flame is clearly visible. The hydrogen flame is nearly invisible. But when we look at the flames through a thermal imaging camera, we can see both flames clearly. A pure hydrogen flame has low radiant heat, much less than the amount of heat radiated from the burning of conventional fuels. Because of these characteristics, it is best to approach a hydrogen flame using a thermal imaging camera. Now, let's do the same demonstration in the dark, at night. We are in the same location that we used in the daytime. You can see that the same landmarks are visible. In the dark, both flames are clearly visible without a thermal imaging camera. So, the key lessons we've learned from this demonstration are, while a hydrogen flame can be seen at night, in daylight it could be almost invisible. A thermal imaging camera is a very useful tool for detecting a hydrogen flame when it's nearly invisible to the human eye during the day. And while the radiant heat is low, the hydrogen flame itself is just as hot as one from a conventional fuel. Industry has used hydrogen safely for decades. More than 9 million tons of hydrogen are used annually in the United States. Hydrogen is no more dangerous than conventional fuels when handled properly. But when dealing with an emergency response situation, it's very helpful to understand the properties of this unique fuel. After watching this program, we hope you now know a little bit more about hydrogen and have a clear understanding of its flame characteristics and other properties compared to a typical fuel like propane or natural gas.